What else can I do? This is the only thing left. The only way to make it end. I just want to close my eyes and go to a place where the world is safe and I'm not afraid anymore. I want to tell you God, grant me this serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Thanks, Joe. His name is Jacob. He's so sweet, so smart, Mom! so innocent. Every day I would wait Mom. for God to grant me the strength. I got the best grade in the class. That I was praying for, begging for. Mom! 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 I got the Jacob used to tell me, Mom, maybe God's waiting on you. How right he was. Mom, mom, wake up, mom. Mm -hmm. He was just like his father, always there to pick up the pieces. I got the best grade in the class. Every day I would tell him that I loved him more than anything in the world. And nothing made me feel better than to hear him say, I love you too, Mom. But words die and they, um, they haunt us. Hey, baby. Was, uh, wait a minute. You hungry? I made cereal. Oh, okay. Sorry I didn't cook. I was just so tired. Please don't take any more. More? <laughs> I'm eight days sober. You were messed up yesterday. All my friends saw. And you were messed up when I got home today. No, I wasn't. I'm not little anymore. I can tell. I didn't take anything bad, Jacob. It was just a bad reaction to my bladder medicine. That's what you always say. I heard a quote once. If you want to see someone's true character, give them power. And with every manipulation, Jacob saw a little more of my true character. What are you taking now? Nothing. Then what's that? It's non-narcotic. The doctor gave it to me. He gives you all of them. That's enough. You don't tell me what I can take. I'm the parent. Then act like it. Go to your room now! Bye! The waves of lies slowly eroded my words of all meaning to him. 
I didn't even realize it until one day I told him, I love you, son. And he looked back at me with his big, beautiful eyes and said, then show me. I was ruining my life, my son's life, and I was powerless. There were times I wouldn't remember anything, but sometimes the fragmented memories of the previous night would start slipping in through the fog. I couldn't handle it. Look out. It's the guy in the green, our arch nemesis. He is not a primary color. I would just pray it was all some horrible nightmare. Where are they? Please. And that's exactly what it was. Except it was my reality. And worst of all, I made it his reality too. The things I did, <laughs> the horrible things I did. He had every right to hate me, but he didn't. He was too good to hate. Oh my goodness, what happened? You don't remember? Are you getting bullied again at school? I'll go down there today and talk to the principal. No, it, it was an accident. An accident? We were playing ball. Well, they need to keep a better eye on you. I need you to sign this for Miss Sarah. Oh, bud, an A plus. Way to go. You are just like your father. So smart. You are the best thing I have ever done. Bus is here, I gotta go. Be careful. I don't want you to come home with any new marks. All right, so any more questions on common denominators? No? Perfect. So you guys will have no issues getting your homework done, both front and back this time, right? All right, if you guys can finish your reading homework this weekend, we can actually start our movie. Have a good weekend. See you later, guys. Hang on. Honey, where'd you get that mark on your face? From a, a bully? You know, I was bullied growing up, too. It's not a bully. Honey, who was it? They didn't mean to, Miss Sarah. You know, sometimes they don't realize how much they're hurting you. You're gonna have to tell them. I told them. You might need to show them. Have a good weekend, okay? He 
he never complained. But when he would see a real family, I could see the hurt in his eyes and it, it ripped my soul. I hated God for taking his father and not me. I was the source of all their pains. Why not me? I was just a burden. His whole life revolved around fixing my problems. He wasn't going to give up either. He would throw away my pills, threaten to take them himself, hide my keys, and he even called every single doctor I used, begging them to stop giving me pills. But no one takes a child seriously. He was prepared to do anything to fix me. <coughs> and I knew it. I don't remember much from that night, but the words coming from my son's mouth as I laid there, nearly paralyzed, will forever haunt me. This is the only thing left. This is the, the only, only way to make, make it end. end. I just want to close my eyes and go to a place where the world is safe and I'm not afraid anymore. I want to tell you I grant this serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage. 
decision to change the things that I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Thank you for coming this evening. I just want to remind you that this is a safe space. Nothing should leave this room. Don't share it with your family, social media. Marie, we spoke earlier tonight, and you said you'd like to share. Dear Mom, I'm sorry that I'm not strong enough to help you. <laughs> I'm tired of being scared and being alone. I'm being ashamed. <laughs> I hate myself for feeling ashamed of you. <laughs> I just want to close my eyes. I go to a place where the world is safe. <laughs> and I'm not afraid anymore. And I want to tell you I'm sorry, and I love you. Every day, I think about ending it. But that would be the easy way out. And I don't want the easy way out anymore. I'm searching for something different. Something that I don't deserve. Forgiveness. We spoke earlier tonight, and you'd like to share your story about your son. His name is Jacob. Drowning in sunshine, trying your best to survive. be 
to sound.